Anyways, I got a text yesterday afternoon. It's a picture of a motorhome, Barry. diesel pump which can only mean one thing it's recovery day I like this one because it's got the real long hose because we got to reach the big tank on the hat headed out to the west desert out to a place called Knowles which is like uh, sand dunes mountains and kind of like salt flat area and we got a buddy we got a motorhome buried you want up the hat Go pull them out. I guess they've hooked like what three trucks to them already. I'm trying to pull them out with no luck. So it takes something a little bit bigger. Oh no! Good morning. Oh. <laughs> there you go. Now I gotta go to snacks. <laughs> Desert we go. The Camille's running worse than old hands on a pit bike. And I've got just the thing. <laughs> Athletic Greens has got just the kick you need. <laughs> and a little for old Davy. <laughs> oh, this one needs just a look at too. It's working! It's working! Holy mackerel! It worked! <laughs> Just kidding, Athletic Green won't change your sweet Civic into an awesome El Camino. But you know what? It will do wonders for your body. You know what won't do wonders for your body? Smoking. Give it up and replace it with Athletic Greens because you know why? It's got 75 minerals and vitamins all sourced from Whole Foods. They're gonna give you that boost in energy you need. Gonna give you that boost in mental clarity that you want. And guess what else? It's also gonna clean your gut up. It's gonna make your gut feel fantastic. Your immune system, your digestive system, everything is gonna feel wonderful. My favorite part, since we're always doing these recoveries and getting out there and working almost every single day, it helps your muscles recover faster. So I can go out on a recovery the next day and still feel great. But you know what? Don't take my word for it, try for yourself. Go to the link in my description. It's athleticgreens.com forward slash heavy D sparks. And you're gonna get five free travel packs and a year supply of vitamin D. And listen, not only does Athletic Greens help me feel good, it tastes good too. A lot of the greens out there is like, yeah, it's like taking spinach. Listen, I don't know how Popeye did it all the time. Spinach ain't that good, but you know what is good? Athletic Greens. Try it for yourself 
and start feeling better today. So one more time, that's athleticgreens.com forward slash heavy D sparks, five free travel packs and vitamin D. Now, let's get back to the show. My friend, Bear Phelps, this is his dad, Gar Phelps. And they got another brother named Nick Phelps, who's a good buddy of mine, who's actually, funny story, he's the one who helped me propose to my wife, Ashley. Anyways, I got a text yesterday afternoon there's a picture of a motorhome from Ryan Morgan. You guys know more Jeezy, worked for us forever. Said, you guys, you guys up for an adventure? And the picture of the text right here, motorhome buried. <laughs> you got her sunk. Trucks to it? Yeah, three trucks, three diesel, one ton trucks. No. Didn't, no, didn't even budge it. Is it mud or sand? It uh, looks just like this. You wouldn't even believe it. Just like this. Then right across. Just, just sinks. Yeah. You know, you wouldn't think it. But yeah. Just... So this is the same type of like a uh, kind of lake bed area that we usually deal with. Kind of like where we got the crane. It's a little higher elevation, but there you go. Speak of the devil. Fancy CD, guys, dude. <laughs> hey, buddy. How you doing, brother? This guy. And so that's who sent me the text. Mr. Hi. More Jeezy himself. Good to see you guys again. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, uh... Yeah, we're going to unload the head. And the head should pop it right out. But this is the part where I get, like, overly, like, overly... This is where I'm looking for confident. No, not you. Not me. Not you. I've never seen that happen. I never get overconfident, right? Somehow I'll get it stuck unloading it, so let's see what happens. As I've learned the hard way, we don't unload the hat from the trailer until she's good and ready. We don't try to back over the back of the trailer, the low boy anymore. So right now we got it on the craftsman step. Good. We got it on the craftsman step deck, waiting for the airbags to air up because the airbag suspension on this thing, if it's not perfectly set, it just kind of steers however it wants. It sets it so wide for this trailer, uh, it has a tendency to kind of want to fall off the trailer. So I'm gonna take it nice and easy, see if we can avoid breaking anything before we even start the recovery. Oshkosh's got the big flotation tires. 
we usually uh, are able to float over pretty much any terrain, but I don't want to get too cocky yet because you can always break through that crust and when you get stuck, you're stuck. And getting the recovery vehicle stuck before you recover the other vehicle, not ideal. Uh, we haven't aired down yet. We might have to here in a minute. Things start to get a little squishy, but so far, Okay. I'm thinking we'll probably just like a yank of rope to it and tug them right out. Unless we can't find a good hook point. The problem with the front of the RV is there's, first of all, it's underground right now. And second of all, if you start really jerking on these things, you, uh, you can tear them apart pretty easily. So we either give them a big pull with the yank of or we winch them. Give a couple shots of all these big marks. Oh yeah. That we have three trucks pulling on the show, show that right. Yeah. Okay, ground is bubbling up like that. What's up? See that ground just bubbling up like that? The whole ground just did a big wave. Did you see that? That was wild. broke the strap so then we tried both of us side by side that didn't work so then we tried two side by side and one more hook to me and three trucks didn't even get it <laughs> we moved it like two inches I think Still hooked up. A few uh, onlookers here. than I expected. I had to keep on pulling them because it just kept on wanting to sink and sink and sink. Really weird terrain. I'm going to drive the truck back over there and see just how goofy it really is. Let's maybe get you on the other side of this hump. Okay. Because uh, it's still, it's already starting to kind of slow down again. Yeah. What do you want to show 
put them in deep there. Just kept sinking deeper. It put up a little bit more of a fight than I thought it would, but yeah, did a good job. Not, uh, not that bad. I'm gonna go look at your ruts now. <laughs> Let's go look at the ruts. Now comes the fun part. Yeah. <laughs> we can do better than that. Come on, guys. <laughs> I'm just thankful that they were able to come out and help me, guys. I really do appreciate that. Way cool. Did you, did you think it was going to come out that fast? Oh, with that thing, yeah, I thought it would, but it was still, I thought it would come out easier than it did.
dirt come out of the ceiling? I don't know. It came out of everywhere. <laughs> I think all desert storms just came out of the <laughs> like it, but the temp doesn't say so. That's probably a broken hose or something because the temp gauge said didn't say it was hot. Yeah. Oh man! It scared the piss out of it. Yeah, it didn't even get hot. I must have just popped the line. So recovery's done. Everybody's safe. We got to rally the head on the dunes a little bit. I hit a bump and I think I probably popped a radiator hose or something. So it's that was that was that was just the right amount of of abuse. Got on the trailer. Be home in time for, for at least maybe for lunch. Send it. Send it? Send it.